Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make my famous cluster beanie and this is the uh, free crochet pattern that you can download on my website. Um, a lot of people requested a video to go along with it. It's basically the hat, cluster hat that goes with my cluster fingerless mittens video which I did a while ago now. I'll put a link in the description to the mitten video as well but today I'm going to show you how to make the accompanying oversized beanie cluster beanie to go with it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be using a chunky bulky weight yarn and this is a yarn weight of five um, so don't confuse it with a super bulky or super chunky. Uh, I've chosen a nice bright green to hopefully help you see better and we're going to be using quite a big hook um, today. We're going to be using an eight millimeter crochet hook and you can see this looks different to my normal hooks I use. I happen to use my bamboo ones which are bigger so I don't have this size in my clover crochet hooks but it's an eight millimeter if you can get hold of that size and it's a good idea as well to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for sewing in those ends and if you want you can also make yourself a nice cup of coffee as well <laughs> like I have here okay so let's begin we're going to be starting with chaining five so we do our little slippy knot first I'm not used to using these hooks <laughs> quite big so we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And this differs slightly from the written version of this pattern um, because I prefer to do the chaining method uh, beginning on the video rather than the magic circle because I know a lot of people struggle with the magic circle but if you prefer using the magic circle you can obviously follow the written pattern which says to work six single crochet into a magic circle but here we're going to chain five and then we're going to find our first chain put our hook into that first chain and we're going to bring the arm through that first chain and then straight through the loop on our hook and then that forms a little loop of um, stitches of chains and in the middle obviously you can see there is a hole and into that hole we're going to work six single crochet and put our hook straight into the center there and bring the arm through and then we're going to do a single crochet and this pattern is in US terminology as are all my patterns and then we're going to do another one so that's one we need six of these so we go back in Bring the arm through and do another one. So that's two. Go back in, bring the arm through. And we're just wrapping these around the chain, so it doesn't matter how many chains we've got now, it's irrelevant. So another single crochet, so we've got three. Then go back into the center, do another one, four. Then back into the center. Five and then the last one back into the center to do six. Because as you can see, you've got oh, I'm losing my ball. <laughs> um, as you can see, you've got quite a big hole there. So, what we're going to do is pull that up slightly and then pull your tail end as tight as you can. And then, what that should do is just bring in the center hole a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've got our five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'm sorry, six single crochet. What am I talking about? Six single crochet, two, four, five, and six. Then in that first single crochet, we're going to put our hook, make sure we go through both of those loops. Where's the other side? Where's the other side? So going under both of those loops. We're going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet. So straight through the single crochet and straight through the loop on our hook. And that is the end of round one. Okay, then we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to count that as a stitch. Okay, so count that as a stitch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet, so we're going to yarn over we're going to go back into the same stitch, that first single crochet that we slip stitched into. So you want to go back into that same single crochet that you slip stitched into. 
bring the yarn through and we'll do a half double crochet. So we yarn over, pull through all three loops to complete a half double crochet. Okay, so you've effectively, effectively got an increase there. You'll chain two as a stitch and then one half double crochet in the same stitch as your chains or below your chains. Then we're going to work two clusters in the next stitch and then in each stitch around. Now to work a cluster, what we need to do is we need to yarn over and we're going to go into the next stitch bring the yarn through so we've got three loops then we yarn over and pull through the first two as if doing a double crochet but then we stop and we yarn over again and go back into the same stitch so go back into the same stitch bring the yarn through so now you've got four loops then we yarn over and pull through all four and that completes a cluster and we're going to do another one of those because we need to do two in the same stitch so moving your cluster over we're going to yarn over go back into the same stitch again bring the yarn through so you've got three loops yarn over pull through two as if beginning a double crochet but we stop there we yarn over again go back into the same stitch and bring the yarn through so you've got four loops and then we yarn over and pull through all four loops like so okay and then that completes our second cluster so you should have two clusters in that stitch and then we need to do two clusters in each stitch around so in the next stitch we yarn over go into the next stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two but stop yarn over going back into the same stitch bring the yarn through so you've got your four loops yarn over pull through all four so that's one cluster then we need to do another one in the same stitch so we yarn over go back into the same stitch so you've got three loops yarn over pull through two but stop yarn over go back into the same stitch bring the yarn through so you've got four loops then yarn over pull through all four like so and that completes your second cluster so now you've got two clusters in that next stitch okay so we need to just repeat that for the remaining stitches so in the next stitch we do two clusters so we go into the next stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two stop yarn over go back into the same stitch bring the yarn through so you've got four loops yarn over pull through all four for your next cluster we need to do two in there so we yarn over go back into the same stitch again bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two loops stop yarn over go back into the same stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull through all four for your second cluster okay so we need to do that uh, twice more I think so yarn over go into the next stitch bring the yarn through pull through two stop yarn over same stitch yarn through so you've got four loops and when you've got four you know to pull through all four one cluster and we need to do another one in there as well so two in each yarn over go into the same stitch again three loops yarn over pull through two stop yarn over get to the same stitch bring the yarn through we've got four loops and we know when we've got four we can pull all, all the way through so we done two clusters in there and then I think this is the last stitch I'll double check at the end so again two clusters in here yarn over go into that next stitch three loops yarn over pull through two stop yarn over same stitch pull through got four loops yarn over pull through all four completes one cluster move it over and then yarn over go back into the same stitch again for your second cluster bring the yarn through three loops yarn over pull through two stop yarn over go into the same stitch 
pull through. So you've got four loops, yarn over, pull through all four. And that should give you two clusters in each stitch around, except at the beginning where we've got a two chain and a half double crochet. So in total, you should have, let me have a look at this, should have 12 stitches in total. So let me just check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, including the top of our two chain, because it does look like there's another stitch there, but I, that's what I call a fake stitch, that's always tricking us. So just next to that is your two chain, one, two. So what you want to do now, making sure you've got 12 stitches, including the top of your two chain, we need to slip stitch into the top of our two chain. Okay, so there's our first chain, there's our second chain. Bring the yarn through that second chain and then slip stitch to finish. You may just want to pull your tail end to keep that centre hole tight. Okay, so moving on to round three. For round three, we're going to chain two again. Let's chain two, one and two. And we always count these as a stitch, so we're going to count that as a stitch. But this time we're going to work two clusters in our next stitch. So there was the top of our two chain that we slip stitched into. So we're not going to go back into there, we're going to go into the next stitch, which is this one here. It's actually quite a small one compared to the other ones. So in that next stitch we need to work two clusters. So you need to yarn over and go into that next stitch, just going under both little loops of yarn, bring the yarn through. Three loops, yarn over, pull through two, then we stop, we yarn over again, go back into the same stitch and bring the yarn through. We've got four loops and when we have four we know to yarn over, pull through all four of them. So that completes one cluster. Move it over to do another cluster in there as well. So yarn over, go back into the same stitch again, bring the yarn through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, stop, yarn over, go back into the same stitch again, bring the yarn through, four loops, yarn over, pull through all four. So you've got two clusters in that next stitch. Then we just need to do one cluster in the next stitch, so we're not going to do two, we're just going to do one in the next stitch. So we yarn over, go into the next stitch, which is nice and big, bring the yarn through, so you've got three loops, yarn over, pull through two, stop, yarn over, go back into the same stitch, pull through, so you've got four loops, yarn over, pull through all four. That completes your cluster and we're only going to do one cluster in that next stitch. So in the next stitch we're going to do two clusters again. So we yarn over, going into the next stitch now, so about the background noise, bring the yarn through, so you've got three loops, yarn over, pull through two, stop, yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull through four loops, yarn over, pull through all four. So that completes one cluster. And just move it over, yarn over and go back into the same stitch because we need two in here. So bring the yarn through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, stop, yarn over, go back into the same stitch, pull through. So you've got four loops and when you have four we know to pull through all four. So we've got two clusters in there. And we need to repeat this round, so in the next stitch we do one cluster, then in the next stitch we do two clusters, the next stitch we do one cluster, next stitch we do two, then one cluster, two cluster, one cluster, two cluster. And you will end on two clusters, and you should have a stitch count, including your chain two, of 18 by the end, okay? so. I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to come back. So the next stitch we just do one cluster. Like so. Then in the next stitch we do two clusters. Okay, so I'm just going up to the last two. So second to last one we just do one cluster. Okay, 
then the very last one we do two clusters. So we always know to end on two clusters, or not increase rounds. So there's one, and then another one, same stitch. Okay, so there we go, and there's our fake stitch again that always looks like there's a, another stitch. But what we need to do, we should have 18 stitches, including our chain two, by the end of this round. So if you're not sure whether you've reached the end, just count for 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 is the top of our two chains. So what we do now is slip stitch into the top of our two chains. There's the first chain, there's our second one. So going to grab the first loop, move over, grab the other side. So I always end up with like two loops that side and underneath there's one loop so I'm actually going through something. That's what I like to do. Bring that through, straight for the loop and hook to slip stitch. Okay, so by the end of round three you should have a stitch count of 18. And now we're going to move on to round four. Okay, so moving on to round four, we do the same again. We chain two, one and two. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do one cluster in the next stitch. So there was the one we slip stitched into, top of our two chains. So we ignore that. Moving on to the next stitch. In this next stitch, we're just going to do one cluster. So we yarn over and do our one cluster in there. Hopefully by now you're uh, used to doing your clusters. We do one cluster in that next stitch. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two clusters. So go into the next stitch and do two clusters. Stop, yarn over, same stitch, yarn over, pull through all four. So there's one, let's do another one, yarn over, same stitch. Pull through two, stop, yarn over, same stitch, pull through, pull through all four. So there we go, we've got two clusters in there. And we're going to repeat this round. So we're going to, because we're counting that as a stitch, in the next stitch we're just going to do one cluster. So go into the next stitch and do one cluster. Like so. And then in the next stitch we're going to do one cluster. So just one in the next stitch as well. Okay, so there's one in there, one in there, but then in the next stitch we do our two clusters. So there's one, and we do another one, so in the same stitch. Yeah, so we've got two in there. So we're going to repeat this round, doing one cluster in the next two, one, one, and then our two clusters. So we do one cluster in the next stitch, one cluster in the next stitch, then two cluster, then one cluster, one cluster, two clusters, one, one, two, one, one, two, and you should end up on two clusters at the end. You should have a stitch count of 24 as well, including your chain two. Okay, so we do one cluster in the next stitch, Then we do one cluster in the next stitch. And then we do two clusters in the next stitch. Okay, so I'm just going up to the last three. And so we're finishing up with one cluster in the next one. One cluster in the next one, that's second to last one. Then last stitch, two clusters. So there's one, move it over and do another one. Okay, so we've got our two clusters in there. And there's our little fake stitch. And just next to that is our chain two, first chain, second chain, and in that second chain you want to slip stitch. You always need to make sure you slip stitch into the second chain and not that first stitch, otherwise that might mess you up. 
the old stitch counts. Okay. A little slip stitch in there. And by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 24, including your chain two. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round five. Similar theme, we're going to chain two, one and two. Count that as a stitch. And then we're going to do one cluster in the next two stitches this time. So there's the one we slip stitched into and there's our first stitch. That's why it's important to make sure you don't slip stitch into that first stitch by accident. So we're going to do one cluster in this first stitch. Okay, and then we're going to do one cluster in the next stitch. So we are. Then in the next stitch we're going to do two clusters. One, move it over, and then another one. The same stitch. Like so, so you've got two in there. Then we're going to do one cluster in the next um, three stitches. Okay, so one cluster in the next three this time. So do one cluster in the next stitch. Then one cluster in the next stitch. Then one cluster in the next stitch. And then we do our two clusters, which should match up. If you can see your clusters, it should match up with your previous increases of two clusters whereas you've only got one there one there you've got two in there so they should match up so in the next stitch we do our two clusters there's one move it over and go back in and do another cluster your increase okay so you've done one cluster in the next three this time, and then two clusters. And you want to repeat that round, doing one cluster, one cluster, one cluster, then two clusters. One cluster, one cluster, one cluster, two cluster. Comes a bit of a tongue twister. And then one, two, three of just one cluster, and then two clusters. And then one, two, three of just one cluster. So one cluster in the next three, and then ending on a two cluster. Hopefully that makes sense, and by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of... 30. Okay, so we do one cluster in the next one. Okay, so just coming up to the last four. So we do our one cluster in the next three. There's one. One in the next one. And one in the next one. And then the very last one, we do our two clusters. One, go back in and do another one. Like so. And then we just slip stitch into the top of our two chains. There's our first chain, there's our second chain. Slip stitch into there. So, to finish the round. So there we go, by the end of round five you should have a stitch count of 30. Should look a little something like that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round six. And it's a very similar pattern. You Hopefully you're noticing a little pattern happening now.